Today we're starting to brine an eraser too. So, this is just a regular piece of hard mesh. Got it from my local lacrosse store. Had this in conditioner, water all day yesterday, so it's fairly soft, but I'll have to work with it. Okay, so we start by getting our three strings, the top string, the top string, sidewall, and yeah, I guess the top string and two sidewalls. I'll show you what we'll do for the bottom string in a bit. So, for the top string, I like to use a lot of sidewall, just like that. So, Make sure to burn the ends. Make sure to match it both sides. So for goalie sticks. The problem that I used to have a lot was not counting right for the which diamonds go in the holes, so make sure to double count the double count your yeah, whatever. Okay, so we done the top string. I I actually did eight diamonds total on the top, just to get it nice and tight and create a nice channel. So yeah, we'll get to the sidewalls. One thing I forgot to mention is when you're doing sidewalls for goalies. Especially if you cram these these two diamonds right here, you'll want to pull it from where you you miss those two diamonds. So you want to pull it nice and tight across the top. I'll show you. I should pull it from right here. So I'm skipping skipping a diamond on the eleven diamond row actually. Yeah, and then you want to con continue that down until you get all the way to the 12 diamond row. You want to pull it nice and tight down here. So, we have finished our sidewalls. For the bottom string, I like to use a, um, a shooting string, actually. Those two holes. So here's the final product. It's a, well, just a big bag, I guess you could say. Really tight channel. A 
things with goalie sticks is you don't you don't want it. Like it's not like stringy player sticks. Like you have to this part right here. You don't want that super tight. Like it still has to be. Like you see how it's still a little like it still takes the ball in a bit. That'll help you with your rebounds. They want it tight enough that it can create this nice chat, this nice channel. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. It's again. It's an eight diamond top string. I I actually started it on uh on the second hole right there. And I went, I started two holes down. And it's the second diamond on the 11 diamond row. Below the 12 diamond row. They did the top string with. So. You tie that in there. And then skipping a hole. You interlock the second diamond on the 12 diamond row right to the 12 diamond so now we're so that'll pull it nice and tight up here so then you SI right here skipping two holes and then skipping two holes again SI and SI skipping another two and then just uh this is just uh what is this? That's just a one skipping a hole. Then a one SI skipping a hole again. And a one SI skipping two holes. And this is a. I went under. I'm not sure what it's called, but you go un under the piece of mesh around through the outside of the side wall and up through the the loop then I actually use the the bottom string hole to finish off with this I went through the outside of that went in there yeah the bottom string I put it one 12 diamond row below the below where we finished with the sidewall string. So now for the sidewalls, or the, the shooting string, sorry. Normally I would put a U in because it helps with the rebounds, because it gets caught on the U, but I'm just gonna do two straights along the top and then that'll be the finishing product. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here's the finished product. It's a really nice channel. Alright. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.